We are looking at an 1866 image captured by Alfred Hart, depicting the interior of a snow shelter located in the Central Pacific section of the Transcontinental Railroad. These shelters were crucial in enabling travel through the high altitudes of the Sierra Nevada in California. The engineering employed was remarkable, although it required significant investment in materials and labor. In this image, we see what the Chilkoot Pass journey was like during the Yukon Gold Rush in 1898. It was captured by photographer E.A. Hegg, who documented over 800 scenes of life in the Klondike. These photos are part of the University of Washington's collection. The Chilkoot Pass journey was one of the main routes to access the gold fields in the Canadian interior, used by thousands of fortune-seeking adventurers. This photo shows the Canadian Pacific Railway Bridge over Mountain Creek in British Columbia, circa 1880. The bridge was part of the transcontinental railway that connected the eastern and western parts of Canada. It was built in segments in England, shipped around the world, and assembled on site. The Apache Kid was a famous scout for the American Army, who became a wanted outlaw in the Arizona and New Mexico territories in the late 19th century. He was born in the 1860s in an Apache tribe called Aravipa, living in the canyon of the Little Running Water River. He was captured by Yuma Indians as a child and later released by the army. He enlisted as a scout in 1881. This is an old photograph recently auctioned and not much is known about its origin. The man in it is holding a pipe and needed a support to remain still while the image was captured. The technique used for this photo is called ambrotype, which involves creating a positive image on a dark glass plate. The beer and billiard hall of Schramm and Schnabel was an establishment that offered its customers two forms of leisure, drinking beer and playing billiards. The hall was located at 545 California Avenue, a bustling street in downtown San Francisco, California. The year was 1860, and the city was booming following the gold rush. In this historic photo, we can see one of the early motor vehicles of the time, referred to as a horseless carriage by its inventors. The scene takes place in Rollins, Wyoming, in the year 1900. At the wheel is Dr. John Osborne, a doctor, farmer, banker, and politician, who would become Wyoming's third governor in 18931. He was a pioneer in the automotive industry. We see Annie Oakley, one of the greatest exhibition shooters in the United States, demonstrating her incredible rifle skills to a group of spectators. The image was captured in 1917, when Annie was 57 years old and had retired from Buffalo Bill's famous Wild West show, where she had shown for over a decade. In this historical photograph taken in 1918 by Richard Throssell, a Cree photographer who documented life on the Crow Indian Reservation, we see a rare and impressive scene. A stagecoach, a large horse-drawn carriage, ascending the Zimmerman Trail, a winding and steep route that skirts the sandstone cliffs known as Rim Rocks in Billings, Montana. Company D was one of the four divisions of the Texas Rangers, a law enforcement force that had been active in the state of Texas since the 19th century. In the year 1888, this company became known for its actions against criminals threatening security and order in the region. On a dirt road, a wooden establishment stands out among other buildings. On the facade, a red and white sign reads, Lone Star Bar and Billiard Saloon. Next to the door, a smaller sign informs customers that they can find cold drinks inside. It is uncertain where or when this photo was taken, but it is part of a collection of historical images from Texas. In a scene from 1874, a group of armed men gathers around a campfire after a day of hunting buffalo on the American plains. They wear leather clothing, hats, and boots typical of pioneers exploring the Wild West. In the background, Several buffalo hides hang on wooden stakes, exposed to the sun for drying and preservation. In the late 19th century, a massive migration of gold prospectors occurred in the Klondike region in northwest Canada, where gold was discovered in 1896. These adventurers primarily came from the United States and brought with them the cultural and behavioral traits that marked the era of American westward expansion. Thus, Alaska, which served as the starting point for many of them, became a backdrop for conflicts, violence, exploitation, and opportunism. The Fashion Saloon was one of the most frequented establishments in Santa Barbara, California, in 1880. It offered a variety of services to its customers, including drinks, games, music, and dance. The saloon was decorated with mirrors, chandeliers, paintings, and carpets. 
creating a sophisticated and appealing ambiance. Dr. Whirlwind was an indigenous physician from the Cayuse tribe who lived between 1825 and 1910. He was known for performing medicinal dances while holding live rattlesnakes, demonstrating his power and courage. He also served as a messenger and scout for the United States Army during conflicts with other indigenous tribes. This is a rare portrait of William Frederick Cody, better known as Buffalo Bill, one of the most famous and legendary figures of the American Old West. He was a soldier, buffalo hunter, and entrepreneur who created a show called Buffalo Bill's Wild West, showcasing scenes from frontier life and Indian wars. He traveled across the United States and Europe, bringing his culture and history to millions of people. This historic 1893 photo from Michigan shows how wood transportation was done in the winter. It's incredible that just two horses could pull such a heavy load, but this was a common sight at the time. The firm and smooth snow made the logs slide as if they were on ice skates, allowing the horses to move a significant weight with less effort. Three men, three roles. Texas Congressman Edward W. Johnson, Texas Ranger Lorenzo K. Creekman, and Parker County Sheriff's Assistant E.A. Hutchison display three different badges while holding their firearms in this 1880s studio photo. The photo depicts a woman and a man on horseback in front of a wooden building. The woman is Belle Starr, a famous outlaw of the American Old West. She is wearing a dark dress, a wide-brimmed hat, and a scarf around her neck. She has a pearl-handled pistol on her waist and a whip in her right hand. Vash Gan, a member of the Jicarilla Apache tribe, poses for a black-and-white photograph. The photo was taken by Edward S. Curtis, a famous American photographer, in the year 1904. Vash Gan wears a feather headdress, bead necklace, and a fur mantle. He gazes at the camera with a serious and dignified expression. The photo is part of the J. Paul Getty Museum collection and is considered one of Curtis's most sought-after and celebrated works. The photo captures a panoramic view of the city of Deadwood, located in the state of South Dakota, USA, in the year 1877. The city was a center for gold mining and trade in the Black Hills region, considered sacred by the Sioux indigenous peoples. The photo shows various wooden buildings, some with metal roofs, spread along a main street and secondary routes. The photo portrays an intriguing scene of a traffic jam of wagons and horses on a dirt road in the American West. The photo was taken by L.A. Huffman, a notable photographer dedicated to documenting life and landscape in the Montana region in the late 19th century. The image depicts dozens of horse-drawn vehicles, some loaded with goods, others with passengers. Annie Oakley, a famous sharpshooter who performed in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show, poses for a photo alongside her husband and shooting partner, Frank Butler, and their pet dog, Dave, in the year 1911. Annie and Frank met in 1875 when she won a shooting match against him in Ohio. They married the following year and traveled the world showcasing their skills. In this photo, taken around 1875, we see a young Buffalo Bill Cody, who had not yet become a legend of the American Old West. Buffalo Bill, whose real name was William Frederick Cody, was born in 1846 in Iowa, USA. He began working at the age of 11 after his father's death and became a Pony Express rider at 15. During the American Civil War, he served in the Union Army. In this historic image dated 1875, we see a group of miners working in gold and silver exploration in San Juan County, Colorado, USA. They are camped on King Solomon Mountain, a rocky elevation at 12,500 feet, where the North Star and Montanist mines were located. These mines were part of the gold rush boom that attracted thousands of adventurers to the region between 1870 and 1880. In this historic photograph taken in 1914, we see a Native American man, likely from the Sioux tribe, riding an Indian Power Plus motorcycle, one of the most popular models of the time. The image contrasts the culture and way of life of Native American peoples, who lived in harmony with nature and did not recognize private land ownership, with the invasion and domination of European colonizers who imposed their values and economic interests.